So when we want to graph uh, horizontal and vertical lines. Now, we've talked about putting, putting equations in standard form, putting them in slope intercept form. Um, this can actually be in, we can actually put this in slope intercept form, because if you look at it, I write y equals mx plus b. So you notice there's no x, right? So then m has to equal what? 0. And there's no b, so b has to equal 0. However, for this one, um, I don't have, I have an x, but then I don't have a y. So this one is actually not going to be a linear equation, but it's still going to produce a line, which I'll show you what to do. So for this one, it's not too bad. You could, if you look at it, though, um, all, oh, I'm sorry, your b, no, b doesn't equal 0. b equals negative 2, right? That's your constant. b is your constant. So what you could look at is to, get, to go to this line, if I was going to start graphing this, you know you go down negative 2, right? That's where you start. But then our slope is 0, so where do we go? Well, one thing, if you remember, when learning about slope, when a slope is 0, you're going to have a horizontal line. That just means you're not going to have any incline up or down, but you still have a slope, right? So that's why we call this a linear equation and this one not, because here we don't actually, we're not actually going to have a slope, and we'll talk about that. But for this one, we don't have a slope. So what we like to do when having vertical and horizontal lines, the best way I like to do this is create a uh, table of values. So usually some table of values can just be some easy ones. Okay, Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So let's look at when x equals negative 2. So in this equation, look at it. Let's say x equals negative 2. What is the value of y? Negative 2, right? Because it doesn't really make sense. You're not plugging x in for anything, right? What about if x equals negative 1? What is the only value we have for y? Negative 2. 0, negative 2. 1, negative 2. 2, negative 2. So all the time, y always equals negative 2, right? So that means for every one of these values, y always equals negative 2. So your graph is just going to be a horizontal line at y equals negative 2. Make sense? OK, so let's talk about this one. So for this graph, you can see the table of values. Think about it. It's going to be the same thing. Now here, we don't have a linear equation because we don't have a y. We don't have our y equals, um, uh, we don't have a y equals uh, y and an x, so we're not going to have a linear equation. <sighs> However, we still are going to have a vertical line. If you look at it, if I say x always equals 3, all right, if x is always going to equal 3, my, if I pick like values for y, I could pick any value for y, right? It's kind of the same thing. 1, 2. No matter what values of y you pick, x is always going to equal what? 3. 1, 2, 3. So, that's going to give a vertical line. And if you remember talking about slope, when we talked about a vertical line and slope, slope had, when it's a vertical line, is an undefined slope. Okay? Um, so your slope is actually undefined um, in, this, in this example. So that's how you graph your two horizontal lines. Make sense? Just you know, create them. You can obviously see x equals 3. It's going to be a vertical line. y equals negative 2. Horizontal line. OK? And that uh, thing with the vertical line, because that's just to see if it's a function. That's just for a function.